Hello my guys, gals, and non-binary pals, and welcome back to another video. So this video was actually recommended to me like a long, long time ago. But pretty much what I'm going to be doing is using the drawing platform Canvas made by Google Chrome to draw something. Now this can be used right on the web, no downloads needed. So that's how you know it's going to be bad. If you want more videos like this, or just enjoy this video in general, make sure you do subscribe though. I've been trying to hit 2k before my one year anniversary, and we got like two weeks, guys. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna make it. But if you do want to push us towards that goal, make sure to subscribe. Hopefully we can hit it. And on with the video. So the first thing I decided to do was take a look at like all the little features I could see. So right off the bat I could see, and I've seen this from like other people who actually use Chrome Canvas, which surprises me. Like it's an actual drawing tool. But Chrome Canvas does have layers, which is a good sign. A lot of drawing platforms that are bad, like one of the first ways you can tell it's going to be bad is if it doesn't have layer capabilities, but this does. So that's really nice to see in a like bad drawing platform. Um, it doesn't have a fill bucket tool or an eyedropper. Those are usually bad signs. <laughs> when you have this limited of like tools and like half the tools that they do give you are kind of useless and just like weirdly textured and it's like no one's ever gonna use this that's usually a pretty bad sign like really here you have your eraser and whatever your preferred like line art tool is and that's kind of it i don't use much more than that so it doesn't impact me too much but it is once again typically just a bad sign in a drawing platform it does have the undo tool and it does have an eraser You'd be surprised how many apps I've seen without like undo capabilities or erasers. It becomes more apparent in the second drawing I do, but the brush sizes are actually really big too. Like, what I use for the majority of this video is the small size of brush, and it wasn't that thick, but for doing small details, it was kind of difficult to work around. Um, also, to add an extra added challenge to this video, I was doing this all on, you know, Google Chrome, but for some reason my brain didn't like process the concept that I could go and use this on my iPad, which I normally use for drawing, but I have a laptop and I have a drawing tablet, so I use those and I'm not very proficient with my drawing tablet. I am not great with it. I'm much better with my iPad. Uh, I did do a bit of practice with the tablet before this, but you know, just a little added challenge there of using a tool to draw that I'm not really comfortable using. So to test out this platform, what I just did was I drew like a classic me. This is what I always do kind of when testing some sort of challenge or different platform or stuff like that. I just default to drawing me kind of seems weirdly self-obsessed when I think about how much I've drawn myself on this channel, but we ignore it. It's fine. <laughs> so things were looking like a little wonky for most of it. The sketching was pretty okay, but then for like the line art, it took a while because I, during digital art, you make like a lot of bad lines and then you undo and then you do the line again and then you just repeat that cycle for like 20 minutes and then you have a piece of art. I don't know why I said 20 minutes. Art takes a lot longer than that. But a lot longer to do that here because I do more of those messy lines and it was harder for me to get good lines, mainly because of the tablet. This has like nothing to do with Chrome Canvas. 
so yeah the line art took a while and it was looking a little wonky i wasn't really worried about that since this was just a test i don't need good art here but uh it was a nice foreshadowing for what's to come but the coloring was pretty easy there is some weird things about the coloring so like i said there's no eyedropper tool and then um for the like covering you have a select palette and it has a limited space so if you go through too many colors you won't be able to access it from inside the color panel and you can't eye drop previous colors so you gotta like be very careful about accidentally erasing one of the colors you're using it never happened to me because i was very conscious of it the whole time but i could easily see that if i was using this a lot i could struggle with it and like maybe there is an eyedropper now that i think about it i feel like i've watched people draw on canvas more than i've like actually used it obviously since i haven't used it that much but um my school is filled with chromebooks that have chrome canvas downloaded and so a lot of kids will tinker around on there so i feel like i've seen people use an eyedropper on there but I feel like I just don't know how to use it. <laughs> so I just had to be very conscious of my color uses. Then I did put a few little gradients like the hair, the eyes. And honestly, even though there's no like sort of blending tool, I kind of like the texture I put there, the lines fading upward. Overall, it wasn't too bad. I wasn't feeling that bad about going into this drawing. Um, a little nervous, but... I thought was going to be okay so um since whatever i drew didn't matter too much i just you know i've been trying to draw my ocs more so i decided i'd draw my ocs and i guess i never draw leo that much i want to draw ones that i don't draw because the whole point of like redesigning characters was so i would draw them which by the way i have a whole series redesigning these guys if you haven't seen it it's it's a fun one <laughs> I'll link it in the iCard if I remember, which I probably won't, but you know what? It's on my channel somewhere, so go find it. <laughs> but I decided I'd draw him, and then I'm like, oh, I don't draw my OCs together ever either, unless it's like Clyde and Peach. They're like the only ones I draw together. So I decided I'd draw him with Sam. Who knows why I put Sam in a tree, but they're in a tree. And Leo is very surprised. Honestly, I'm very surprised with the fact that I drew a tree because um, drawing trees kind of scares me. Like, I tend to avoid it, honestly. Because I don't know how leaves work. I don't know how branches work. I don't know how, like, roots work and trunks. Everything about trees is just very scary and unfamiliar to me. I sound like I don't go outside, but, like, I see trees. I just never think about them, so I have no concept of how to draw them. But I tried my best. Also, um, I don't know why I chose to make, like, a drawing that's going to have a lot of small details. Because of the tree, all the characters have to be smaller. And I complained about the brush being so big. So that sounds like a great combination. Having really small characters and a really big brush. Anyway, um, throughout this video clip, you'll see me switching to my Instagram, which you should follow, um, because that has all my references for my characters. So I was just using those to make sure I got like the hair right and the colors right, even though I can't eye drop. I think there's a way to import images onto canvas once again i think i've seen it done but i didn't mess around with that so i just uh had instagram off to the side and i'll be real with this i had a horrible time with this drawing it was so bad the brush was so big which meant that drawing the characters was a horrible time and it didn't help that I had like no sense of control because I was using a tablet that I'm unfamiliar with using and not comfortable with. Like half the problem isn't even canvas, I'ma be real. 
like it's pretty bad for a platform. I much prefer Klecky. Um, if you want like a drawing program you can just use on the web because like Klecky has a lot of the same features as Chrome but just better. Honestly, it's like budget Ibis Paint. It's what I used to use when I'd draw on the computer. But the program's not that bad. It's mainly just me using the tablet in conjunction with the program. So it's like doing two art challenges at once. And like usually when I'm more shaky or like less refined with what I'm using, like the tablet, I would just go bigger. But for some reason, I didn't. I, I should have chosen a better thing to draw, man. <laughs> so for the background, I kind of went for a not my style exactly. So like for the tree, I think I've kind of done with this with bushes to be fair but I didn't give the background any line art or any shading or any of that. So it looks a bit off from how I usually do stuff. And then there's also like the white space that's there because for some reason I'm in my scribble on background colors phase. Uh, but for the tree leaves, I start out with like dark dots in the background then made them lighter and lighter to try and show the depth of the tree leaves and I actually think that if the rest of this was in a kind of like I don't know more abstract style like that I think it would look really good honestly it's kind of my favorite part of the drawing which is really sad <laughs> yeah but the rest of the tree kind of looks in eh, the trunks not great and the branches are not great i did not know what i was doing and i didn't care too much because it was a horrible time so i didn't want to fix them and then i was really scared of doing line art so i didn't even know if i was going to do that for the characters so i just started off with coloring but they weren't looking defined enough and very wonky if i want to go no liner i definitely would have had to at least shade them and i don't think i could do shading with the size of this brush so i just opted for line art instead especially since i did the coloring first now i have like very defined areas i have to draw around so i had to redo lines so many times like you can see me just undoing and redoing the lines of leo's coat so much and like it's not even that good simply because I like gave up and did not want to keep going through this cycle of drawing his coat. And like, I didn't even give them noses because I felt like the faces were getting too crowded already with the size of the brush and how small they were and it was such a horrible time. <laughs> Don't do this to yourself. So usually I give final thoughts and I think this one's gonna be like the most pessimistic one we're gonna get. I hated the process. I hate the artwork. I feel like a toddler could draw better. Just don't use canvas. And if you do, at least have like a good pen you're using or your finger if you're comfortable with that. Whatever you have that you're comfortable with. Or just don't use canvas. It's not that good. Anyway, if you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Also, comment down below your favorite drawing platform. And my Instagram and Twitter are in the description below, so you should go follow those. Please, I need followers. And I will see you all next week.